Hey guys, it's Lupe Arenas from Media Mandy at the red carpet of City of Hope's 14 annual Songs of Hope as they bring together some of the biggest names in music and entertainment, honorees from Mike Will Made It, and attendings like Meta World Peace, and of course, legendary Clyde Davis, so stay tuned. So we're here at City of Hope's Songs of Hope 14 annual with one of the honorees of tonight. How are you? Uh, very, very proud to be here. Thank you. What, I guess, you can say the creative process when it comes to to creating? Um, you know, all, all these things are collaborations, which is part of the fun of doing them. If you, if you don't like to collaborate, you shouldn't be in musical theater. <laughs> um, they take a long time to do, but um, it's exciting to work with other talented people and, you know, keep uh, plugging along until you think you've got it close to right. And last but not least, you've always had your, your, your very successful career. And, you know, there's people that are up and coming and would like to somehow get into the field as well, music or entertainment. What's your advice for them? Well, I think if you want to be in, in that field, you have to, um, you know, if you want to be a writer, write something. If you want to be a singer, sing and, you know, find venues and places to do that and, you know, keep plugging away and eventually the hope is that you will get noticed and, you know, start to have the, the chance to work more and more professionally. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. And enjoy the show. Thank you. So what are you working on? I mean, you know, everybody's always working on things, I guess. Um, but, you know, for me, just having a good time. Um, uh, currently, just staying in. I like sports. I, I, obviously, I played sports for quite some time. You know, I like uh, being able to have access to technology, something we didn't have access to as an urban kid, mm -hmm. you know, back in the days. And now that that barrier is up, you know, people are getting involved in all sorts of things, and I'm hoping to give back to technology and sports. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy the event and great talking to you. You are an honorary tonight for an award presented with Clive Davis. How does yeah. that feel? I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy to even be in these conversations. It's, it's just crazy. It's just showing me that the hard work has paid off and, um, and you can be acknowledged. Come on, always tell me like you're not a legend until a legend calls you a legend. You know what I'm saying? So you made it. it was, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's dope. It's dope for all this to to be going down tonight. And you brought someone very special with you tonight. You brought your mom when you were, you know, in the basement creating beats, creating music. What was one advice that your mom gave you? Don't stop. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you gotta work hard and. If she ever saw me like slowing down on the beach, she like, man, you need to get back on the beach. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can lose it. Like, don't do everything. You can't lose it. And just, she always told me to go hard. I got my pops here tonight too, awesome. and, he, and he always just told me to be a leader. Just told me like, um, always be original. Like, don't don't be a follower. You know what I'm saying? Um, he bought me my first beat machine. My mom, my mom always would go. Like, we would always go to the guitar center. She'll put a credit card down. I just have to pay pay the equipment off right quick, <laughs> work a job, pay the equipment off, you know what I'm saying? But they are they they both stay down. I mean it's just it's just a blessing to have them both here with me and to be receiving this tonight and just to be in the presence and, and to be acknowledged for, you know what I'm saying, the hard work. The hard work is finally paying off. Just a few weeks back, you teamed up with uh, Ray, with the Slim from Ray Schwimmer, with a scholarship for 10 high school students. How important is it for you to continue giving back? Once I started my record label, like that's what, that was my whole plan. But even prior to that, it was like, I went through so much, but I never really let it get to me, and I just kept going, kept going. And it was like different hardships that I had to go through. Like I was going to college, as I had um, student loans, and I, I just had that on my mind. Like, man, damn, I got these student loans. I don't have any money. Like, I have like I have an idea. I want to start a production company. I want to team up with these producers. I want to do. I had like a vision, but but then I had to get like Nike and just do it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just did it. I'm a firm believer about like paying for, forward. So. Yeah, so it's just like, man, uh, just to help out any kind, any kind of way, with any kind of artist, with any kind of students, with any anybody who had like similar walks of life. For me, like, that's what it's all about. So we're here with a legendary Clyde Davis. How are you, sir? You know, it's a special night. I'm yes. up for it. I'm looking forward to it. Not only to present um, 
my legendary songwriters award to Benny Blanco and Michael made it, but to just experience the ferocity of the commitment that the City of Hope makes and what they have done over the years, what they've done this very year, what they will do um, is so touching, so heartwarming to see the larger group of people every year the turnout is bigger so it's a special night it will never go old it will never be uh, I've been there before every year is new and different so I'm looking forward to it um, and that's very true you as well are legendary and you know unfortunately a few weeks back we lost Arita Franklin what was your special moment that you shared with her I think the special moment was seeing at the funeral, you know, a seven hour funeral that the whole world turned into. Mm -hmm. The recognition that the greatest singer of our lifetime was receiving. I mean, I met Aretha in about 1979 and we thought we would do a five year contract and of course it turned into three, four decades of working uh, together. She. I was planning a tribute concert with Live Nation and it's turned very sadly into a memorial concert, but it will be held in Madison Square Garden on November 14th and we hope that we'll make it a once in a lifetime event so that all of you can really understand why Aretha was in a class by herself. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy tonight. And thank you. Great meeting you. Thanks so much.